Mm. All right. Now it's time for us to talk about what happens after the circuit breaker. Phase one, when we come back. All right. <laughs> Ding 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 <laughs> Alright, so now we're back in action. So uh, let's talk about you know, what happened um, after the circuit breaker. So uh, last uh, June 1, our circuit breaker here in Singapore just ended. And uh, we are going to follow the next step after that one. So there are some things that we're going to be doing following the government during phase 1. Let's try to talk about the essential businesses. Aside from the essential businesses that have been open now, the people now are gradually going back to work. They're allowed to go back to work, especially uh, those facilities like manufacturing, uh, production, as long as um, they still maintain social distancing and uh, precaution, wear mask. They are doing it on a scheduled basis, not all at once. Okay. Like us, we are slowly going into the office according to the schedule and according to um, your company schedule as well. In our office, we are using this app. Uh, we are using the Safe Check-In app. I don't know if I still have it here. We use our scanner, um, uh, this one. I'll just show you. We use our scanner just to scan the barcode there, then we click on Check-In if you're going to that particular establishment and as we go out or go to some places like uh, if I want to go buy some food I still have to go to the check-in it's like a Bundy clock there when you log into the particular establishment so that it's just the purpose of that one is for contact tracing just in case uh, they want to know which place did you drop by during this time so it's easy for them for them to trace most retail outlets um, are still closed especially those personal services they will not be open as of the moment and also dining in you cannot go to um, f and b's or any hawker center that uh, you can dine there you can only have takeouts or takeaway so that's a um, thing going on on phase one so i miss uh, dining out with my friends having coffee there but uh, for the meantime we'll just have to have the uh, virtual coffee break okay you can have zoom with your friends and have coffee Okay, yay, 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 yay. Okay. Alright. So, there's still no dining out. So, dining in. So, all that's going to do is to have our take away. Take away. <laughs> take away my eye. Yay, yay. Back lunch to minimize the, uh, the hassle of washing. <laughs> So, I have this chopsticks and spoon. <laughs> okay, chair fun time. Look at this. Chair fun time. Be better you. Boop, boop. Boop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fish and uh, some chicken. Chair fun time. Alright, and uh, when you talk about hairdressers or barbershop, previously it was open during the circuit breaker but there's no um, like extra other service like uh, you want to have your hair dyed or uh, you want to have some styles on your hair, other services of uh, hairdressers is not available that time but now it's allowed, okay? If you want to color your hair, if you want to do some uh, spa on your hair, whatever you like, then it's now available so it's it's open and for me i haven't had my haircut since uh, february so i just have i just need a haircut it's quite long now okay so yeah so for coloring my hair i just color myself <laughs> i just bought a hair color and just color it no need for going to the salon or hairdresser <laughs> I'm still, I'm still not sure if I want to have a haircut because of, uh, I don't know if uh, it is still, if it is safe to have a haircut. I see some of the people now having a haircut, so they have no problem with that. But it's good to be cautious, okay? And if you want to know the details of those establishments that are allowed to open, you can check out the link. 
Uh, let's talk about our our community, our households. Or each household, they're allowed to visit their grandparents or parents living in a different house, but it's just limited to one visit per day. But with two persons, of course. So you can visit your grandparents as long as you are just two two persons visiting in one place, and allowed only for one visit per day so it's better than nothing okay just to minimize the contamination of your some some viruses so and it's good to have that way okay better than nothing just uh, bear with with the situation now okay if you are scheduled for marriage solemnization solemnization am i right when you're planning to get married then it's still allowed during this phase one but limit only for 10 people and for um, funerals and wakes it's also uh, 10 people but social distancing still applies take note of that and uh, places of worship some places of worship are are open to private worship but uh, in our case in our in our church it's still not open there's still no advice that uh, we can go back to church so we still have to maintain the online attendance of uh, the church activity and then we just have to let this time pass first, okay? It's for, for the good of everyone. So minimize contamination. All right, sports and community recreations or recreation facilities are still not open. Just relax first. Let's talk about school. Schools are gradually reopening. They are starting school now, but in a gradual manner, okay? Slowly until June 10. So June 10 is gonna be a full swing. Some institutions that are having their classes online, they can still continue. And if they need to go to campus for laboratory and um, other things, at least once a week, okay, they will take turns. Probably the kids miss their classmate, but they still have to maintain precautions. They're like a social distancing, not, not, not too near, but they have to wear masks, okay? Even, um, when you're inside the school it's better that way because you know if you don't wear a mask you might even though you're asymptomatic uh, but you still can pass on the the virus so just be careful and you guys there just wear a mask okay? every time we go out i also wear a mask in the office i wear a mask it's better that way now let's drink some okay always have this one okay. don't forget to drink your aloe so that you can become healthy. And uh, when you talk about the healthcare services, it's always open for some private healthcare service. They are having their schedules for private sessions. Who's gonna go first, elderly or the regular customers, the regular patients. Uh, if you want to know about your private doctors, you can just contact them if uh, they're already open or not. Get in touch with them, coordinate with them. If you have some appointment, like your, your teeth or anything, any checkup, surgery or cosmetic, so just contact your personal doctor or personal clinic, okay, if they're open. All right, in our workplace, we also have some guidelines in order for us to follow this phase one. We always wear a mask. Where's my mask? Mask. We always carry on a mask when we're taking the, uh, the transportation. But for us, we're very much privileged as of the moment. We are given a uh, free cab ride as of the moment. Then. Uh, once everything is settled, when we go back to the office, we can go by public transport, like uh, the train or the bus. And uh, before we go in, that's what I said a while ago, we need to check in there with safe entry check-in and uh, check out after that. And in the office, we also maintain social distancing. So one seat apart, one meter apart. In the lift, it's five passengers only. And like uh, when during regular hours, you can fit in 15. But uh, now you can, there's a limit of five, so at least one meter. It's like, hmm, that one. And uh, there's a sign there that says one meter social distancing. So it's, it's good to have that one. And also in the pantry, when you eat, there's an X mark there that you're not allowed to sit down there, one person apart, just to maintain social distancing. It's very effective. If you think that it's not effective, then there's an experiment. If I can find the link, I will share it below. So um, next week, I'll be uh, working from home. I'll be staying here for the next two weeks. So I will not be going to the office. I'll be doing my work remotely, okay? After one month, oh, now I, can, I get a chance to stay at home for two weeks. Okay, 
And that's good. How about you there? What are your experiences during this uh, circuit breaker? Or in other countries, what are your experiences there when you're handling this um, situation? You can share your experience below, okay? Type in the comments uh, what's going on there at your place and just some updates. Share it to me. I'll uh, take a look at that and at least I know what's going on at your place. But what the Minister Lawrence Wong here in uh, Singapore during the press conference of uh, this pandemic last May 19, he said that, to quote, we have to do this in a very careful and calibrated manner because we don't want to risk a flaring up of the virus again. And importantly, we do not want to sacrifice the efforts that all of us have put in over the past few weeks in controlling the outbreak. So. Yeah, we just have to this is a very nice uh, strong quote that we need to follow this one because uh, our efforts might be of waste so um, to all of you who are in their homes or outside their homes just be cautious uh, when you go out just wear masks maintain social distancing wash your hands regularly okay and shower and don't forget that one of course and when you wash your clothes make sure that you wash your clothes properly and when you eat no dining as of the moment probably during on phase two and we will just wait for some advices this phase one would uh, probably end by uh, the end of june and we will start with phase two this is a good thing that singapore is doing they've been studying what are the things that they have to do in handling this pandemic so Guys, I hope I was able to share some things about uh, what's happening here in Singapore. In your case there, just uh, follow what the government says. Do your part. Also, if you need to remind some of your friends to follow, just remind them. It's for your own good. And to those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And go ahead and click on the like, like, like button. And if you want to be notified of my upcoming videos, just go ahead and click on the notification button. Bell, all right, and don't forget to follow me on Blair underscore Bustillo on Instagram if you want to check out my Sunday post. And to those of you who are watching, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next upcoming vlog. Bye bye. And before that, I would like to inform you that we have reached 10,000 subscribers. Boom. When I opened up my email, I saw that uh, we reached 10,000 subscribers. Yes, thank you so much for your support to all my subscribers. Thank you very much all these years that you are here for the support. Thank you very much. I couldn't make it this far without you guys. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for subscribing and for the love okay see ya next time on the next upcoming vlog bye bye uh, like marriage services some solemnity solemnity solemnation marriage solemnity marriage solemnity of this the, the detailed list of the Insta. The um, work now is gradually. Uh, <laughs> Marriage solemnation. <laughs> Think of it that.